Hey guys, welcome back. So I recently had a request to do a video on how to install the Streamlight TLR1 and TLR2 series of weapon lights. So I'm gonna do that for you guys today. Uh, what you get when you buy one of these lights is the light itself. You get two CR123 batteries, one Allen key, one extra hex screw. There's already one in the light. We'll talk about that in a minute with a little silver washer, a couple of extra small nuts, and these three, plus the one that's already installed, uh, rail locking key. Now, it's it seems like that you get very few options here as far as the different numbers of keys. You get a Glock one, a Smith & Wesson TSW or 99 series one, a Beretta 92, that's 90TWO, not 92 like the M9 that doesn't have a rail on it because that would be dumb, and then a 1913 key. Uh, Honestly, I found that the Glock one works the best for most of my pistols anyway. So I'm not too worried about that. I've put it on all of my full size pistols and it fits just fine. As long as there's enough room between the front of the trigger guard and the rail section on the dust cover, you're fine. Now, let's talk about setting this thing up. First of all, there's a little lever back here. You're just gonna pull that lever up and then all the way back that pops your battery compartment cover off. From there, you can just take that, grab it, and pull it away. There's a little recess cut in the bottom there and a lip right there that locks into it. Next, take your batteries. And on the side here, you can see the light actually tells you which direction the battery should go. So you just take your batteries, sorry, I'm trying to do this on the viewfinder, and pop them in that was backwards. Do, do, do. Doing this on camera is a lot harder than you would think. Then you just take your compartment, fold it back over, lock that little lip down there in the bottom, and then fold your lever back. It's pretty easy to do. No tools or anything. From there, you take your pistol, make sure it's clear. This one is, I've already cleared it. Uh, and you attach the light to see if the Glock key will work. If it doesn't, you're gonna to have to change out the keys. I'll go over that here in just a second. In order to put the light on the pistol, you have this screw here on the side that's jutting out right now. And you just push that over like a button and it moves the other side rail over. So take your pistol, push the button, line up that key with the rail slot Hold your nose just right, especially if you're doing this on camera. Doo -doo -doo. And boom, there it is. If it fits, you like where it is, yay for that. Sorry, John Level. You can just tighten this little screw back down. And this is where a flathead screwdriver or a coin or something would come in handy to really tighten it all the way down on the pistol. But let's say that that one doesn't work, that you need to put the 1913 key on there because you're going to put this on an AR pistol or something. That's cool. You can do that. Um, it's pretty easy to change out. There's a hex screw here on the side, which is why you get an Allen wrench. Take your Allen wrench, pull this screw all the way out. There's a little metal washer right there on the inside. So make sure you don't lose that. Drop that on my cloth. And then you just grab the key, pull it out. Then you're gonna take your 1913 key here, take one of these little nuts, put it in that slot you see, there's a little T there, put it in right there, make sure it's nice and flush, like so, not sticking out. And then you can slide that back into the light. They only go in one way, they're idiot proof, so you don't have to worry about that. Sometimes though the nuts do wanna move around on you and become unflush like this one just did. See, it just popped right out. I'll use the other one. Pop it in there. May help sometimes too to just turn the light upside down just so that nut doesn't move around on you. Make sure that that key is nice and flush in there. 
then you can take your screw, pop it back in, make sure you have that washer. You also get two of these screws, as you guys can see. So if you lose one or you lose a nut, you got some spares. Just tighten it back down. Then from there, you can throw it on your rifle, your pistol, your shotgun, whatever you're gonna put it on. So that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, pretty quick video, I know, uh, but I wanted to get the information out there, especially because it was requested. So I hope you guys found it useful, that it helps you out, uh, and that you, you enjoyed the content. If you guys did like it, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends, it helps out a lot. If you guys have any questions or if there's something else you'd like to see me do, another install video or something like that, please let me know. I'm always open to suggestions uh, and feedback and constructive criticism and all those things. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Y'all take it easy. Roll Tide, and I'll see you later.